Watch the salt shaker. Win games using your new telekinesis power. You might see it move. What happens? They raise just like that. What? How did you, how did you do this? What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, magic! I'm your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you how to move stuff with your mind. That's telekinesis, Kyle! So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button and let's go! This is a completely impromptu trick that you can do anytime, anywhere you have a straw or a pen or anything that will roll on a table easily. There's only so many ways to make an object move without touching it. One of the easiest is to take a lightweight object and use a stream of air to move the object. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually secretly blowing a stream of air from my mouth and bouncing it off this hand to blow the straw back towards these fingers. It makes a lot more convincing illusion when the object moves towards you if you just put it in front of you and blow it forward, it's a little obvious that you're just blowing on it. So I like the addition of bouncing the stream of air off your hand to make the object come back towards you. Another good key here is to wear a hat so when you bend down like this to do the trick, it hides your lips from the spectator's view and they don't see you blowing on it. Watch the salt shaker. Here is the secret to moving a salt shaker across the table with your mind. So the secret is what's hidden inside the salt. If I dump out the salt shaker, you can see inside we have hidden a couple magnets. So take the salt shaker, load a magnet inside, position the magnets in the middle so that the salt fills in around the sides and hides them completely from the audience's view. And the other thing you're going to need is a super powerful magnet to go underneath the table. You'll need an assistant or a friend to hide beneath the table with the magnet to control the movement. The big magnet is what moves the salt shaker on top of the table and makes it look like you were just controlling it with your mind power. Okay, Ava, I have a cool trick to show you with my sunglasses. So did you know that my sunglasses, you know I wear them in every video, yes. they actually have magic powers. They really do. Check this out. So you can check them out, normal pair. Mm -hmm. Standard LA All sunglasses. So check this out. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna set them down on the table just like this. Watch the glasses. If I just kind of like concentrate on them, look what happens. They raise this like that. What? Dad, is it not magic? But how do you? So as you might have guessed, my sunglasses don't really have magical powers. The secret to that trick is a little loop of invisible elastic thread around my wrist. So the loop of thread, I don't know if you can see it, it's very, very thin, almost invisible to the naked eye. Under these lighting conditions, you can see it, but in most cases, you can't see it at all. So that is looped right around the arm of the sunglasses. Then all you have to do is pull up, the glasses rise, and flip over. Watch the can on the table. See it? Okay. Is this a normal can yeah, of soda? It is. Watch this. I didn't know. If I just concentrate and like focus my energy on it, look. Please don't let it explode. It's not gonna explode, but look. Ah! That's not real cute! Isn't that cool? Oh, How is that nice. <laughs> Yeah. Is that how it is? Mm-hmm. To set this one up, all you're going to need is a little balloon and a straw. Stretch the balloon onto the top of the straw just like this. Now test your apparatus by blowing into the other end of the straw to make sure the balloon inflates. Now you're going to position this right off the back edge of your performance table so that it hangs just like this. Now you can set any object you want within reason on top of this and when you have an assistant below the table inflate the balloon, it will cause the object to fall over and it looks like you're controlling it with the power of your mind. Just knocking stuff over left and right. Okay, V, I have a tower of liquid death mountain water cans here on the table, so check this out. I have a really cool trick to show you. Uh, it's actually kind of like a mind trick, okay? So check this out. I'm gonna concentrate on the tower and just watch what happens. The 
secret to that one is a piece of monofilament fishing line attached to the bottom can of the tower. Having an assistant below the table will the board at the right moment. You can use this same concept for pretty much anything. You can attach it to a Jenga block, pretty much anything. You can do like a whole room of stuff to make it look like the room is haunted or like you're just controlling everything with your mind. Grab some monofilament fishing line and try it out at home. Behind me, I have a wall of cans. It's going to grow larger every single week. Shout out to our sponsor, Liquid Death Mountain Water. These cans are going to keep growing until the wall gets all the way to the ceiling, and then it will be an epic prank. Unrelated to that, I have a table right here in front of me with a deck of playing cards. I have a ring on my finger right here that's going to go right down here. So I'm going to take the ring and rest it right on top of the box of cards, just like this, right on the edge. Now an object at rest should remain at rest unless it is acted upon by an outside force. So I'm gonna to try to use my mind force to affect the ring, watch. You might see it move. The secret to the ring on the box of cards trick. It's actually under the table. The box of cards is completely normal. The ring is completely normal. The only thing you need to pull off this trick is a cell phone. You're going to take a phone and tape it underneath the table just like this before you ever show the trick to anyone. And you're going to need a second phone or a friend to call or text your hidden phone. And make sure you put the phone in silent mode so that it will vibrate. So now I have the ring set up on the box of cards. All you have to do is have someone call or text the phone that is taped underneath the table and the vibration will cause the ring to fall. I have a nut and bolt here, but the problem is is that the nut is stuck on the bolt and I cannot get it off. So I'm going to try to use the power of my mind to move the nut off of the bolt. If I just concentrate on it. Okay, here is the secret to the magic nut and bolt trick. So you can actually hear the bolt is vibrating and that is what causes the nut to spin up the threads just like that. It's activated by this little magnet right here. Inside the bolt, if I remove the top of this thing, you can see it slides off like this and it actually houses a battery inside the top of the bolt. There's a little watch battery inside there. We put the top of the bolt on just like this and you can hand this out for examination to an audience. They can inspect it. They can screw the nut onto the bolt like this. And when you take it back, you put it on the side of the bolt and it engages the little reed switch inside that will turn the motor on and it will begin to silently vibrate. And that will cause the little nut to begin to spin. And it'll even do it fully inverted like this. So stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to win the magic nut and bolt trick in this week's magic giveaway. Okay, Ava, I have a really cool trick to show you with this coin. Check out the coin, inspect it, make sure it's normal, seem legit. All right, hold out your hand flat, just like that. Yeah, set the coin right there on the palm of your hand. You can see the coin goes right in the palm of Ava's hand, just like that. Heads or tails, Ava, which one? Heads. Heads? Okay, you can see it's currently on tails, right? But you said heads, right? Mm -hmm. So hold your hand out flat like this. Watch, I'm gonna see if I can affect the coin. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> now it's on heads. <laughs> what is that? Cool, right? How did you do that? Magic. What is that? <laughs> no. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick, it's extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. The secret to this one, this is not a normal quarter. This is actually a steel core quarter. So that's the first part of the secret. This is not a normal coin. This is actually a magnetic quarter. And the second part of the secret, you can say the trick is up my sleeve. You can see here I have a wrist wrap and underneath is a giant magnet. So as I move the magnet underneath Ava's hand, it caused the coin to just flip over in her palm. All right, that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might like it 
too. If you are new to our channel and you want to learn new magic tricks every single week, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you see all of our videos. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic props from this video. If you want to win any of the magic props that you saw in this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know which trick was your favorite. Time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Be sure to check the description for instructions on how to claim your prize. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right up here. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.